Loving Mary, heaven's ball, you are the joy of our reflections in preparation for the nativity of our blessed virgin mary today we will be contemplating on mary mother of mercy deuteronomy chapter 4 verse 31 declares the lord your god is a god of mercy the hebrew word for mercy is rahem meaning womb a protective space divine mercy is a protective force that the bible compares with the shelter of a mother's womb god is mercy he is the eternal womb and in mary it is reversed mary offers her womb as protection to divine mercy itself mary being rahem reflecting back god's mercy mary being elios has said reflecting god's faithful love in action how amazing how meaningful the incarnation the annunciation therefore is to jesus through mary in mercy in the magnificat Mary exclaims and affirms that the mighty one has done great things for me and his mercy is for those who fear him from generation to generation. Here the experience of Mary becomes the experience of humanity. How appropriate it is therefore to call Mary our mother of mercy. In the Salve Regina prayer, we pray, "Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy." In his book, "The Glories of Mary," Saint Alphonsus the Liberi explains the Salve Regina in Chapter One. He quotes Saint Bernard of Cavo. Saint Bernard asks, "Why the Church calls Mary the Queen of Mercy?" and he replies that it is because we believe that she opens the abyss of the mercy of god to whomsoever she wills when she wills and as she wills so that there is no sinner however great who is lost if mary protects him in seeking god's mercy each of us desire to amend our lives in being a witness of god's mercy mary continues to tell each of us do whatever he tells you mary mother of mercy pray for us <laughs> 